Hi everyone, we're going to solve for our angle or x on the domain 0 to 2 pi. That should just be less than here. It has quadratic pattern and what we're going to do is um, do these last four problems here. Now I already did the first five problems on the previous video so if you need to see those um, you can look at the previous video. This one's going to be part two. All right, so let's get started. And um, basically, when you see something like this, the problem is you have cosine, but this is sine squared. So what I'm going to do is I know that sine squared of x plus cosine squared of x equals one. I want to write this in terms of cosine. So I'm going to write that um, sine squared of x equals 1 minus cosine squared of x. And I'm going to substitute it into here. So I'm going to uh, write, instead of sine squared, I'm going to write 1 minus cosine squared of x. Now I have everything in terms of cosine, so I can make a uh, trinomial. So distribute here. And then just simplify this. And this will be negative 2 cosine squared of x plus 3 cosine of x. And negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1 equals 0. Now I'm going to have to factor this. I don't like to factor with the negative, so I'm just going to negate um, this whole equation. You get 2 cosine squared of x minus 3 cosine of x plus 1 equals 0. Now when we factor this we're going to get 2 cosine of x and cosine of x. These have to be 1's since it's positive and that's negative, they're both negative equals 0. Now I set uh, each of these pieces equal to zero. If you set the first piece, you're going to get cosine of x. You add the one, divide by two, and this one, you just add the one. So you get cosine of x equals one. So you're just looking here for where your x is one. x is one right here. So that would be at zero. So we took care of this one. And where is cosine equal one half? So cosine equals one half right here and right here, which is uh, pi divided by three and five pi divided by three. So those are our three solutions. Now next we have this one. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to write two minus two since this is sine. I'm going to write cosine squared of x as 1 minus sine squared of x. Now I'm going to simplify this so that's 2 minus 2 uh, plus 2 sine squared of x equals 1 plus sine of x. Uh, these two cancel. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move these two over to the left-hand side of the equation. 2 sine squared of x minus sine of x minus 1 equals 0. And now we can factor. So let's see if we can do this. 2 sine of x and sine of x. Our last term has to be 1. And this one's going to have to be negative because, and this positive because we have a negative 1 there. So now you're going to just set your um, equations, both of these pieces, to 0. If you set the first piece to 0, you get sine of x, subtract the 1, divide by the 2. And this one's going to be sine of x equals 1. So our solutions are going to be, where is sine equal 1? Equals 1 right here. Remember, sine's your y. So that's going to be pi divided by 2. 
And where does your sine of x equal negative one-half? So where's your y's negative one-half? Well, here it is right here and right here, which is 7 pi divided by 6 and 11 pi divided by 6. All right, the next one is this one. Now, this one doesn't look like it's quadratic in form. But the problem is, what most students do is you divide both sides by cosine. When you see something like this, a mixture, you don't want to do that. You want to just move this term over to the right. So we're going to have cosine of x, sine of x, and add it to both sides. You get 2 cosine of x equals 0. So factor out a cosine of x, because that's... Um, have the cosine x both here. It's kind of like you're dividing, but you don't lose the divisor. So you're going to get sine of x plus 2 equals 0. So what you get on this one is cosine of x equals 0 and sine x plus 2 equals 0. Um, for this one, this would give you sine of x equals negative 2. Well, that doesn't make sense. Remember, sine of x is opposite over hypotenuse. And let's just say this was a 2. And if that was a 2, you'd have 2 over 1. Well, your hypotenuse can't be smaller than the opposite side. So this one is no solution on that one. So the only one, sorry about that, the only one we have where its cosine is 0. Um, so that's where your x is 0. It's right here and right here, which is pi divided by 2 and 3 pi divided by 2. All right, and the last one, same thing. Do not divide both sides by sine or you'll lose solutions. So what you want to do is just bring it over to the right-hand side by subtracting. So we'll just copy the right side down and subtract the 2 sine of x. Now since your sine of x is common to both of these terms, you factor out a sine of x. So it's kind of like you're dividing, but when you're factoring, you're just not losing the divisor. So this is going to give you square root of 3 cosine of x minus 2, because that would cancel there, equals 0. Now set both pieces to, to 0, sine of x equals 0, and square root of 3, cosine of x minus 2 equals 0. So this side's going to give you cosine x, add the 2, and divide by square root of 3. Again, um, this gives you cosine of x, uh, square root of 3 is approximately 1.73. Now, cosine is uh, adjacent over hypotenuse. The hypotenuse has to be bigger, and it's not. So basically, there's no solution on this one. So no solution. And we only have to solve for sine of x is 0. So where is your y 0? It's right here and right here. So your two solutions are 0 and then uh, pi. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.